Hi, this is Ame from kawaiikakkoisugoi.com. Valentine's Day is coming up, so today we'll show you how to make namachoko with matcha powder. Did you know that in Japan it is only girls who give chocolates to boys? Japanese girls are usually too shy to express their love. Therefore, Valentine's Day was thought to be a great opportunity to let girls express their feelings. Don't get too excited when you get chocolates from Japanese girls. Chocolate meant for your true love is called Honme Choco, but they also give up Giri Choco, obligation chocolate. Girls give chocolates not only to their true love, but to friends or co workers just for friendship. Here are the ingredients you will need. Let's get started. Finally, chop the chocolates. You will need two bowls to melt the chocolate, preferably one being a steel bowl. Place the chocolate into the steel bowl. Boil hot water and pour it into the second bowl. Place the steel bowl with the chocolate pieces on top of the bowl with boil water and stir the chocolate as it melts. Then add butter and cream. Stir well. Pour the chocolate mixture into a square container with non stick baking paper or saran wrap. Place it in the fridge for 2 to 4 hours until it sets. Take the chocolate out and place it onto a cutting board. Peel off the saran wrap and cut them into bite sizes. Sprinkle matcha powder. As an option, you can shape the chocolates into hearts by using cookie cutters. Matcha sprinkle namachoko kanse! I'm gonna try it now. Itadakimasu. Mmm! Oishi! Really good! I love the green tea flavor. Hope you guys try this for Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching! Bye bye! Matane!